It's rare to encounter a game so perfect that it feels like it was forged in the heavens and sent to earth to make us sob uncontrollably while marveling at our own insignificance. Neva is one such game. From its ethereal art style to the goodest boy of the year, this game delivers perfection on a silver platter. Neva ascends beyond mere video games and becomes a mind-altering experience. Some games have art. Neva has art. Nomada Studio's previous game, Gris, was the game I considered to be the most beautiful of all time. Now I'm conflicted because Neva is just as beautiful, if not more stunning, than Gris. Every frame of this game looks like it was painted by a divine being. The landscapes of Neva feel alive in ways that make real nature look like a faded Polaroid. Sun-dappled forests hum with vibrant greens and yellows, while ominous shadowed caverns make you wonder if your brightness settings are broken or if you're just about to be emotionally wrecked. The game uses color the same way a chef uses oil, sparingly, deliberately, and with maximum impact. And then there are the transitions. One moment you're basking in the warm glow of autumnal reds and golds, the next you're trudging through a blizzard so vividly icy you'd instinctively reach for a blanket. It's immersive enough and stylistically powerful enough to make you forget you're sitting in your living room or in front of a, your desk. But the real magic lies in the contrast. Neva doesn't just use its art to look pretty, it uses it to tell a story. The world starts off lush and vibrant, a kaleidoscope of hope and possibility, but as the darkness creeps in, those colors fade, replaced by muted tones and jagged landscapes that make you feel like your soul is being gnawed by existential dread. The visual shift isn't just a background change, it's a gut-punching reminder of the stakes at hand. Let's talk about the shadow monsters for a second. These creatures are pure nightmare fuel, all writhing tendrils and unholy, fluid geometry. But somehow, even they are beautiful. A city made out of human bodies is beautiful. It's like the game designers decided to take fears and slap some gothic elegance on them. Gris was a near-perfect game. But its one flaw was that it was purely a platformer and not a very exciting one at that. It was never really difficult. But Neva changes this, where every gameplay mechanic is not only functional, but also deeply tied to the narrative and emotional journey. Nomada Studios has managed to create a gameplay experience that feels intuitive, rewarding, and purposeful, while never losing sight of its storytelling ambitions. The platforming in Neva transcends the typical jump here, swing here formula by embedding emotional resonance into every leap and climb, while also being pretty difficult at times. Alba's journey through treacherous landscapes, overgrown forests, icy tundras, and crumbling ruins requires precision and timing. But these physical challenges are more than tests of skill, they mirror Alba's eternal struggles her resilience and her growing bond with Niva, her wolf companion. When Niva assists in these moments, whether by pushing obstacles or providing a boost to higher platforms, it's not just a gameplay mechanic, it's a symbolic gesture of partnership and trust. The design choices ensure that every interaction feels organic, as if Niva's presence is an indispensable part of Alba's survival, both practically and emotionally. The combat system in Neva strikes a delicate balance between, between being accessible and deep. Alba wields a sword, and while her arsenal of moves is straightforward, the challenges presented by the shadow creatures ensure combat never becomes predictable. These enemies are not mere obstacles, they are manifestations of the darkness that plagues Alba's world, making each encounter feel significant and new. 
What truly elevates the combat, however, is the integration of Niva as an active participant. As the wolf grows from a timid cub to a powerful adult, Niva's contributions evolve from distracting en enemies to directly engaging with them. I've never felt such a bond with a helper character in a video game before. This progression reinforces the emotional stakes, making every battle feel like a shared effort to reclaim light and hope. Environmental puzzles in Neva are elegantly designed as they are in Gris, offering just enough complexity to feel rewarding without disrupting the flow of the game. Many puzzles require collaboration between Alba and Neva, highlighting their codependence. Whether it's Neva squeezing through tight spaces to activate mechanisms or Alba manipulating elements of the environment, these moments reinforce the theme of partnership that lies at the heart of the game. Crucially, these puzzles never, never feel intrusive. Instead, they serve as moments of quiet introspection, encouraging players to slow down and immerse themselves in the world. The satisfaction of solving these challenges is amplified by the sense of progression they convey, not just in terms of advancing the story, but in deepening the bond between the protagonists. Almost every moment of this game is shared between Alba and Neva. Perhaps the most remarkable aspect of Neva's gameplay is how it evolves alongside the narrative. As Neva grows from cub to adult, the gameplay subtly shifts to reflect, the, to reflect this transformation. Early sections of the game emphasize Alba's protective role, but as Neva matures, the dynamics change. The wolf becomes a reliable partner, and the challenges they face together demand mutual resilience and trust. This gradual evolution ensures that gameplay never stagnates. Instead, it serves as a constant reminder of the passage of time and the growth of the characters. It also serves as a reminder of your growth getting better at the game the game responding by getting harder. By the time the game reaches its climax, the players feel a profound connection to both Alba and Niva, not just because of the story, but because they have actively participated in their journey. Also, the final boss is both, in my opinion, kind of hard as balls and also just an incredible experience. The gameplay in Neva is a testament to Namada Studio's ability to craft mechanics that are not only engaging, but also deeply intertwined with the emotional core of the story. It's a rare achievement to create a game where every jump, puzzle, and battle feels incredibly meaningful, not just in terms of progression, but how it enhances the player's understanding of the characters and the world. In Neva, gameplay is not merely a vehicle for storytelling, it is the story. Just like in Gris, music is not just an accompaniment. It is a narrator, a mood setter, and an emotional conduit that elevates the game's storytelling to extraordinary heights. Gris would not be the phenomenal game it is without its music, and Neva is the same. Nomada Studio's choice of a sweeping, dynamic score ensures that every moment of the game, from quiet brooding to high-stakes confrontation resonates on a profoundly emotional level. The soundtrack of Neva is an intricate tapestry of orchestral swells, haunting melodies, and delicate instrumentation that adapts to the game's shifting tones. As Alba and Neva traverse a world fraught by, with both wonder and peril, the music seamlessly transitions to reflect their journey, capturing both the difficult and the sublime. In moments of tranquility, walking through sunlit meadows or exploring ancient ruins, the score employs soft motifs. These evoke a sense of peace and nostalgia, inviting players to linger and absorb the beauty of the world. Conversely, in scenes of danger or despair, the music intensifies, employing dissonant harmonies and powerful rhythms to heighten tension. A change in gris is what emotions the score captures, and in general, the game. Whereas Gris never really operated in despair, Neva's final arc is filled with it. Whereas Neva never 
seems to spend much time in sorrow. Gris spends almost all of its time there. It's a subtle difference that I think makes these games even more distinct while also working so well together. At its heart, Niva is a story of loss and resilience, same as Gris, and the soundtrack captures these themes with remarkable sensitivity. The use of minor keys in mournful strings in certain compositions underscores the gravity of Alba's struggles, while uplifting crescendos signal moments of triumph and hope. A standout element of the score is its leitmotif approach, with recurring musical themes that represent key aspects of the narrative. For example, Neva's theme starts as a simple, hesitant melody played on a single instrument, reflecting his vulnerability as a cub. As the wolf grows, the theme evolves, incorporating more complex harmonies and additional instruments, mirroring his journey to maturity and strength, and also the new ways Neva can be used mechanically in the game. The soundtrack is complemented by the game's exceptional sound design, which integrates naturalistic audio elements with the music. The rustling of leaves, the distant howl of wind, and the soft padding of Neva's paws on various terrains blend seamlessly with the score. This careful layering of sound creates an immersive auditory environment that draws players deeper into the game's world and oftentimes makes it fun to just sit. Particularly striking are the transitions between gameplay and cinematic sequences where the music takes center stage. These moments are often these moments often forego dialogue entirely as does the vast majority of the game relying on the score to convey emotion and narrative progression. The result is a storytelling experience that feels both intimate and grand in scope. What sets the Neva soundtrack apart is its ability to resonate long after the game ends. Many of the compositions are not only memorable, but also incredibly emotionally evocative, inviting players to revisit the experience through the music alone. Whether listening to the soundtrack on its own or recalling specific in-game moments, players are transported back to the world of Neva and the bond between Alba and her wolf companion. The soundtrack of Neva is a masterclass in how music can elevate a narrative-driven game by perfectly aligning with the story's emotional beats and providing an immersive, dynamic soundscape. It ensures that the game's themes of loss, growth, and hope are deeply felt in every moment. More than just an auditory experience, the music becomes a core element of what makes Neva a powerful and unforgettable journey. This game tells a story that transcends the need for dialogue. The main word said in the game is Neva. The game instead relies on its world characters and, visu and visual language to convey its themes with remarkable efficiency. The result is a narrative experience that feels universally relatable, tapping into emotions that resonate deeply across cultures and contexts. One of its most in my opinion, universal ideas, is that any fluffy animal is incredible and we want to protect it because Neva is the goodest boy and if you hurt Neva, I will come for you. At its core, Neva is a story about lost resilience and the enduring power of connection. The narrative follows Alba as she navigates a world consumed by darkness accompanied by her wolf companion. The simplicity of this premise belies the emotional depth that unfolds over the course of the game. The absence of traditional dialogue allows the story to be interpreted through action, expression, and environmental cues. This approach not only enhances immersion, but also invites players to project their own experiences and emotions onto the characters. Themes of grief, healing, and interdependence are woven into the narrative with subtlety, ensuring that every moment feels both personal and expansive. The bond between Alba and Neva is the emotional centerpiece of the game, which is strange coming from Gris, where 
the core of its emotion came from a lack of bond, a bond severed, which, strangely enough, Neva does deal with in the final moments of the game. From tentative beginnings to a relationship defined by mutual trust and reliance, their connection grows in ways that feel authentic and deeply moving. This development is conveyed through gameplay mechanics as much as visual storytelling. Early in the game, Alba protects Neva, guiding the young wolf through dangers and nurturing him. As Neva matures, he begins to protect Alba in turn, creating a dynamic that underscores the themes of growth and motherhood. These shifts in their relationship are communicated through small poignant moments, a shared glance, a comforting nuzzle, that end up speaking volumes later on in the game. The world of Neva is as much a character as Alba and her companions, but I think this doesn't fully express how much of a character Alba and Neva are. There was a really powerful experience late in the game where Neva has departed and not died, but just gone away. And you are alone. It's just Alba. And I thought about a seemingly extra mechanic in the game, which is that you can pet Neva. Technically, this does serve a purpose. You can calm Neva down, but it never really hit me as anything much. But then Neva comes back, and the first thing I did was give Neva a little scratch, and it was incredibly cathartic. All of the stress that had been building in me since Neva left instantly disappeared. And I think that is what Neva is at the end of the day. It is about companionship, and it is about having someone that defines you. Without spoiling specifics, Neva concludes with a poignant reminder of the resistance of life and the enduring bonds that connect us. It's a narrative that lingers long after the credits roll, inviting players to reflect on their own experiences of loss and growth, and inevitably, the, experience to, the experiences to come. The narrative of Neva is a shining example of how storytelling in games can transcend traditional conventions. By removing dialogue in favor of visual and interactive storytelling, the game creates an experience that is deeply emotional and universally understandable. It's a story told through action, atmosphere, and connection, a testament to the unique power of video games as a medium of storytelling. At its essence, Neva is a masterclass in game design that harmonizes every facet of its creation, art, sound, mechanics, and narrative, into a singular, cohesive vision it's not merely a game to be played, but an experience to be felt. A work of interactive art that leaves an indelible impression on its audience, at least it did to me. The hallmark of Neva is the seamless integration of its components into a unified artistic direction. Each decision, from the vibrant color palettes of the environments to the dynamic compositions of the soundtrack, serves the same purpose to immerse the player in Alba's and Neva's journey. This cohesion is not accidental. It reflects a clear creative vision, one that prioritizes emotional resonance over excessive features. For many games rely on spectacle or complexity to engage characters. Neva achieves its impact through simplicity and depth. Neva is more than just a game. It's a testament to interactive storytelling and incredibly tight and effective game design. 
it sets a new standard, at least for me, for how games can engage players on an emotional and intellectual level. As the industry continues to evolve, I hope Neva stands as a benchmark for future games, especially not necessarily massive games with incredibly high budgets that seek to explore themes of connection resilience and more importantly, relationships.